Hello. Oh, music. Hey guys. How's it going? Uh, okay, you'll have to forgive me for my, my brain being <laughs> broken. I just, uh, I just installed a new mod, like, right now. But hey, how are y'all doing? Uh, Wednesday? It's Wednesday. I just watched a couple anime, it was good. Um... One sec. Yeah, burrito brain. Oh man, I fucking... I had a burrito on the way home. It was amazing! It was amazing! Um... So, what did I just watch? I watched the second episode of Sakugan, which is a show that I started I, like last season, and I never continued it. But it was really good second episode, and I was like, yeah, okay, I'll watch the rest of this. And then I watched uh, A Haran Sanwa Hakara Night, um, which is more of a goofy kind of slice of life show, but it's sweet. It's a little weird, but it's sweet. And I I was glad to recognize the voice of A Haran San as Norman Asse, so that makes me happy, and I'll watch more of that. Um, uh, there's a couple other things. There's like a bunch of sports shows with badminton and shit, like. <laughs> coming out this this season and I'm like okay I want to watch that and that movie Bubble looks pretty good so yeah interesting interesting <sighs> now um, Final Fantasy 8 I just installed a mod called Roses and Wine which means we should have proper music from the PS1 version now oh yeah there's the golf one I want to watch at least one of those um that's kind of interesting. Right, so before I load this game, I'm going to hit my save file with a magic booster. So, you'll know I had to keep switching magic around with characters last time, and it was really annoying. Um, the magic booster is a thing that comes with the Steam version. It will give every character... Um, what will it give them? It gives them... Cure, Cure, Curaga, Fire, Fire, Blizzard, Bazaar, Thunder, Thundara, Sleep, Blind, Silence, Berserk, Bio, Asuna, Era, Confuser, and Break, and Zombie. So it's not like all of the magic, it's not super busted, but it's nice to have that so I don't have to keep swapping shit around that I can just junction. Or rather, if I do do junction switching, I don't have to worry if I've forgotten. <laughs> you know, too much. I don't know. We're going to hit him with that anyway. Bam. And that's done. Perfect. Now I can load the game. And hopefully it shall sound a little nicer. Let's go. Yeah, if you're watching some shows this season, let me know what they are. Uh, put them in my mental note. Thing. Put them in, wait, make a mental note. Look, my brain's frazzled. It's not just, it's not just me being slightly late. It's just work on the weeks of overtime have turned me into mashed potatoes. Yeah, so this already sounds better to me. There's actual, like, echo on the MIDI. It's not just, like, parp, parp, parp. It's the sound font they used for the uh, PS1 version. Uh, at least if it did work. See, I should have listened to it beforehand and then made notes in my brain and compared it, but it's not showing the game. Why does it show? There we go. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that was the proper one. <laughs> Oh, a hundred percent. Actually, Kuna, there's someone here to see you! Oh, me? What's this place look like? I forgot we're on disc two now. We're straight into it. He was wearing funny clothes. He's talking to Rain right now. Hmm, is he at the pub? Yep, that's why I came over to get you. You. Uncle Laguna? Am I a good girl? No, you're not. It's dangerous to be out there by yourself. What if a monster comes and attacks you? It's only next door, it's okay. It's still dangerous. 
And since you're such a cute little girl, the monsters will especially be after you. That tiny piano. Uh, Shield Hero Season 2, Komi Season 2, uh, Haran San, Kagi Osama Season 3, Spy Family. I want to watch that. Uh, Tomodachi Game, and Shikimori San. Hmm. Yeah, so I tried one season to watch, like, one of everything, and some stuff did stick for a while, and then I dropped off it. Like, uh, The Case Files of Jula Richard, and Memories of Memoirs of a Bookworm, which was really good. And I watched all of it, but then I haven't watched season two, and now season three is starting, so I don't know what to do there. There's just not enough time in my life right now to watch TV <laughs> and playing Elden Ring. And watching Bob's Burgers. To be fair, I'm watching a lot of Bob's Burgers. The movie's coming out soon, and I want to see it. They'll catch you, and then they'll suck all your blood out! If anything like that should happen, Uncle Lagoon is gonna cry! I'll be okay! I'll just call you, Uncle Lagoon, and you'll come rescue me, right? Hey, alone, wait! Oh my god. Guys, this music sounds a hundred times better. <laughs> Yeah, I have this thing, like, I have all these ones that I want to kind of finish, and I tend to just put them in a folder and watch them and then get the next one, but in all honesty, if, I'm not, if I haven't finished it by now, I'm probably never going to, so maybe it's time to move on. <laughs> it was a music mod, yes. I waited, am I a good goyle? Yes, a good goyle. Look at Tiny alone. Dear Alone's father and mother, Alone's been a good girl today. Right? Yo! Zoomies. But there's a lot of bullet holes in this house. Ah, uh, before I forget, I need to put a new channel- I need to sort my channel points rewards out. Um, let me just do this right quick. Um, I've got to disable the game one because I have too many games already. And I don't want people redeeming stuff right now, so... Right, I've turned it off. Uh, but I will be adding a new one uh, for Final Fantasy Tactics. That's just going to be called Get Me In There, Coach. So you can basically design a character and I'll make them. <laughs> When do we get train voice? I don't know. I feel like there has to be a train for train voice to be good. <laughs> if I overdo it, it'll be like my only thing. I'll have to start wearing a hat, play train games. I'll tell you what, maybe I'll do that. <laughs> we'll play train simulator and we'll do it then. You think s -Star soldiers are really coming? That was two years ago, right? They would have been here by now. But you never know what a country ruled by a sorceress could be up to. Hello, now's your chance! Chance! Extra life idea, play train simulator and the entire stream is train voice. How the fuck would I do that? That'd be amazing. I'd have to, like, construct a device to go on my face. You understand, Elaine? Now go to your room and play! I got in trouble. That's cause you broke your promise. Too bad. The good to use proper English when speaking to alone. I got in trouble. Too bad. <laughs> it's been a while, Laguna. Giros. Streaming in a gas mask, yeah. <sighs> Some people do that. <laughs> he's Uncle Laguna's friend. He dresses funny, but he's not a bad guy. He looks like, uh, he reminds me of Valdo. You dress funny, but you're a good guy, right? You seem well. Yeah, you do. Hey, how long has it been? You know, a grand escape from Sentra? That was... Oh, what would you usually call that being chased out? I thought so. I just stopped voting in for right now. <laughs> well, well, I'd say about a year or so. 
I was bedridden for over six months. It seemed like every bone in my body was in pieces. I nursed him back to health. Thank you for taking good care of Laguna. I was able to recover in about a month or so. Ever since then, I've been searching for you. Why? After leaving the army, well, just killing time, I guess. Life's pretty boring without you as entertainment, my man. That's a hard thing to say. I've been living a productive life here. I think I understand what you mean, though. So what do you want to know? Let's see. What's Ward up to you? How's Ward doing? <laughs> Ward quit the army, too. Blocking enemy attacks with his head. Indeed. We need a sippy. <laughs> it's gonna be like crab walking about, like flipping around. It's gonna have a weird card piece for no reason. Luckily, he found a new job and he's working pretty hard. What's he doing? He's a janitor down at the, the district prison. Oh, D district prison. <laughs> I thought he was like stammering. Wow. Can't picture him up on floors, but I'm glad he's doing well. Oh, and he never got his voice back. You can basically tell what he wants from his facial expressions. So, what do you want to know? Tell me about Julia. How's Julia doing? Janitor at the d district prison. Back. I don't know. You mean Julia the singer? That's right. Laguna really admired her and always frequented the nightclub. Shut up. So what if I did? Julia used to sing at a nightclub. No, she didn't sing. She just played the piano. And the first song she released was Eyes on Me. Oh, how does the song go? You don't know? Well, you never let me hear it. I didn't think you listened to music. The song's about being in love. I really like it. But she recently got married. Oh, yeah. To some army general, right? General Carroll or something. I'm not too sure. I read in a magazine that her true love went off to war and never came back. <laughs> What's happening to her? General Carroll comforted her while she was feeling down. That's how they got to know each other. <laughs> so, he, so he didn't wait. For the soldier to come? She didn't wait for the soldier to come back? So what? Who cares? As long as she's happy, right? That's all that matters. Ain't that right, El? Right. She's setting in the toad. I missed that line alone. Okay, enough talk about this. So what do you want to know? Uh, where am I? I think the fairies are here. Fairies? Yeah, I guess so. Then our work today should be a cinch. I'm looking forward to the battles. So what do you want to know? Uh, let's talk later. Let's talk later. I time to do some work. Okay. So what's your plan? You're gonna stick around here for a bit, right? Would that be okay? This is kind of loud, isn't it? I'm gonna turn it down. I forgot that there was a thing with this mod where it makes all the music super loud. I already have it on... Fucking 30%. <laughs> you work for what you eat, Mario. If it's fine with you, you're more than welcome. Come back soon, okay? Alone is fucking tiny. It's like they scaled her down more than the character model. She'd make a better projectile than Angelo. Wait, what did we call Angelo? No shit to steal here.
Oh, I have the junction. <laughs> but at least we all have magic now, which is real nice. This is just a, a quality of life thing. Just give me all the magic. Bio. Bio's really good on strong, huh? One of us is strong. We're going to have a simple question. What exactly do you do here? It's like this. All the working men in this town were sent off to war. The only ones still left in town are old people, children, jokables, dogs and cats. And I'm sure you've noticed, but the monsters have made their way into town. You see, a town took real good care of me. So basically, I want to return the kindness. You're looking at the Monster Hunter of Windhill. So as of today, you'll be my assistant. We're to patrol the town up to the town entrance. If you see anyone in need along the way, we help them. That's our basic duty. But they're in the town. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. This is so much better. We can hear the lead line now. That was, like, fucking hidden in the background before. Blood pain! Holy shit, heroes! The damage! Heroes defeated everyone! And he's lower level. That's the power of junctioning, folks. So what we could do here is we could take Kyros. He doesn't need that. And we could give this... No! Bucky Bartlett! No! <laughs> Magic! Give him the strong. Oh yeah, he's got like, the good Magic. Oh, Dave. You found a guitar in Elden Ring and it made you want to play Ragnarok. Yeah! <laughs> I found that too. There was one for Vit that was 83. Excuse me, bitch. What? Uh, was it? <laughs> Kiraga, yeah. Yeah, that's on health. That's on HP right now. That's amazing. Windhill is a very important town. Drain.
Good night, everybody. Hey, pastry. Look at this old lady. It's been quite some time now since you've recovered from your injuries. Thanks to everyone in town. This here town must be quite known for a young lad like yourself. Perhaps it's time you return to Darling City. Come on, no, 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 this grandma will be fine. No promises, but... Anyway, Pastry, since you're here now, you may have noticed the music sounds a hundred times better. We installed a mod like five minutes before the stream started. <laughs> Ding dongs and that shitty midi ding dongs. That's right. Babu dapu dapu bu babu. Also, the bomb sad emote went live. <laughs> the Maelstrom sorted for us when we were playing <laughs> tactics. It's very good. <laughs> the fucking the bomb side emote is so funny. It's like how I feel <laughs> sometimes. It's how I feel when when my characters are just lying face down in a swamp <laughs> and there's nothing I can do. Wait, where am I? Chance for first strike! Blood pain! That's the medical condition they had in Team Tico Squad! Wow. <laughs> Is this Grandma's house again? No, it's someone else's house. People keep telling me Jujutsu Kais is really good and I haven't watched it yet. My blood! Why did I just think of that? I don't know. I think it's because he said Ultra Instinct. What was that fucking video I watched earlier? It was like... <sighs> oh god, it was like some random, like, cartoon with Jesus beating a guy up. But with Metal Gear Revengeance <laughs> music. It's great. Uh, it's great, you need the movie in the second season already. Didn't the movie come out in UK theatres for Zero? And it also was the second highest grossing movie ever shown in the UK. Or something like that. Can I confirm it's really good, right? Nice, okay. Maybe... Oh shit, I can add it to my pile of shonen to, to watch. After I've... If it is a shonen, it just seems like a shonen. Um, after I finish catching up on BNHA. Uh, do a thing! Summon my girlfriend, Bunky Bartlett. It's a sentence I never thought I would say, but there you go. The modern show is really good. BNHA was like the start of the good modern shonen for me. Oh, Bunky Bartlett's Carbuncle, of course he is!
Let's summon Broski's smiley face. I really like this summon. <laughs> this is the way they, they cheat. So obvious. Whee! It does kind of look like Bucky, doesn't it? Well, you know what? If that if that bomb was like pear shaped, <laughs> remember all those old pictures where. Because of his hair, it looked like he had a, his head was like pear shaped. It's really odd. Like in the same way that the um, the mage from this, you know, Skyrim, Farangar Secret Fire. In Skyrim, he's got like a goat, like a big beard, but because he's wearing a hood, it just looks like he's got a weird shaped chin, <laughs> thumb head. Parangar Secret Fire. Uh, we're to report to the commander and asked commander. Commander, you mean that woman at the pub? Her name's Rain. Rain, okay? She saved my life. And the asked commander is alone. Oh, of course she is. He seems like a really nice person, but easily taken in by a hotshot. A hotshot? Okay, let's step up our patrol a notch. Assistant heroes, let's come up with a plan after we get back to the base. Item. Hell, you've recovered. Now get out of here. They hate me, but try to come first. I just want to chat. How's how's Rain? Oh, she's doing fine. That's good. But it'd be even better if you left. <laughs> It'd be even better if you left. Hi. <laughs> uh, let's let's shop. What sort? Hey, you guys want to buy some key potions? No, I don't need any key potions. I should buy some high potions because it's not my money; it's the Gunas' money. <laughs> You cannot leave. Now he's poor. I don't give a shit. Blood paid. We have to go back and talk to the assistant commander. It's very important. Hey, Laguna! Are you doing this patrol thing every day? Thing? What do you call a thing? Aren't you aiming to become a world traveling journalist? You've heard of Timber Maniacs, right? I had a talk with the chief editor. He said he's interested in any article related to world travel. That's great! We should go talk to him sometime. Yeah. <laughs> Timber maniacs, that's right. We're crazy about wood. Some genius um, optimization here, by the way. Uh, you can see it. But the, <laughs> the house in the background, the main man's city hall, whatever, town hall. They just, like, mirrored it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just mirrored the whole time. Couldn't steal. That's because you tried to steal big bullets! It doesn't work like that. Chepa come on, leveled up. It'd be okay if we stayed here a bit longer, right? 
Any time to gather more material? It seems like a really nice town. You're gonna write about this place first, aren't you? No way! Can't make this place famous. Too much publicity and you get all those tourists and stuff. You're afraid someone might come and take rain away? Laguna, you've changed, man. Hey, I see a monster! You go. I really wanted to use that draw point, but okay. Wait, where's Frayne? Where's the assistant commander? Oh, there she is. What? Girl dog, let's come back later. Come on! Something inside me tells me to listen. Wait, don't you go to Bowie, Uncle Waguna? A guy like that? He was carried in here crying like a baby, but I was the one who had to take care of him. His crude way of speaking, I don't know if his aspirations ever turned or this will ever come to fruition. I just made that up. Every time I try to have a serious conversation, he avoids it. I can't stand his snoring and he talks in his sleep. But he's where we are, so we will like him. When Uncle Waguna and El should be all be together. <laughs> but you know... I think what he really wants to do is travel all over the world. I don't think he has it in him to live in a quiet country town like this one. Some people are like that. Oh, it makes me so bad. What? You don't like the tough voice? <laughs> you don't like him? I feel the same as you alone. Oh! Yeah, you are back. <laughs> Maybe she's like, I don't know, Swedish. You are back. Puff, 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 puff. I came back in a hurry. Hello, Assistant Commander alone. Point for G. Ma'am. Point to the Commander. Oh, okay. Wait, no, that was... Here's my report on today's patrol and monster extermination. Including Bukubukus and Bunbuns that Assistant Commander alone also hates. I've exterminated ten monsters. Alright, thank you. Shall we eat before you get started with the next patrol? I'll call you when it's ready, so just wait. In your room. You seem pretty tired. You should take a quick nap. Speed! <laughs> Assistant Commander alone. Ma'am, we defeated Bun Buns. Wait, 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 What's really funny is I just- I have a viewer account again now, just by happenstance, and I glanced at it, and it was seven, and then I started doing the toad voice, and it went down. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, that makes me happy. <clears throat> uh, right, let's wait in our womb in your room. Draw point. Anyway, friends, how are you all doing? I hope you're all great today. Um, I see a few familiar faces in here today, and it's good to it's good to say hello and have people around. I started a little later than usual, or rather, I've gone back to seven p.m. because I realise with my work hours being insane, I cannot um, actually make it back for six anymore. So here we are. I get scared sometimes. 
Scared of waking up somewhere else. Scared of not seeing alone. Scared of not seeing rain. Wait, scared of not seeing rain? What happened to me? I feel... What is this I'm feeling? Oh, please let it be this room when I wake up. Please let me be in this puny bed when I wake up. The Goonies, you've changed! Very good, just getting some stiff, then on the side, thinking about that extra life. Yes, end of this month. Pastry and Lynchy will be doing the 12 hour extra life, right? The, the, the thing. Is that the end of this month, or am I just making that up? I'm pretty sure it's April 30th. Thank you, Master, for the link. Oh, it's not bad yet. Lots of work. How's, uh, how's Chunky Baby Leg doing? Where am I? Oh, is that Solid Squall? No, it's not. It's Zell. New work situation, yeah. Yeah, how's that going for you, dude? Like, is it is it like a much better <laughs> breath of fresh air? Ah, welcome back, Zell. The dream world again. Uh huh. How's the Gouda doing? Then no, I didn't see him. It's not like I know everything about Ward, but... Well, you know, Laguna and company went to that central place and got into a real fix, right? After that, Ward's been all alone. He's working in some sort of prison-like place, and he's bored out of his mind. All he wants is to be fighting alongside Laguna. Doctors tomorrow. Ugh. Best of luck. I hate, I hate going to the doctors. I hate it so much that I've broken... I, I can think about three or four times where I've broken something and just not come. Because I know what they're going to say. It's going to be like, uh, sit here, go to the hospital, wait nine hours, get a fucking x-ray, and then wear a glove or a cast and don't move it. So I just put compression socks on. It's so annoying. <laughs> So what's this we're experiencing? How the hell should I know? Bruh. Uh, you got one fourth of the responsibility and better pay and competent colleagues. It's infinity percent better. Amazing. Oh God. And um, didn't you say, what was Renoa's voice again? Hang on, let me, uh, Try and remember that while I pour myself another sippy. Hmm. Be back in a sec. That's another sippy. Didn't you say that Ward was working in some sort of prison? It was like that, wasn't it? No, it's not in the abyss. I was just here the whole time. Sometimes I just say I'll be right back and all I do is stare at you. That's not true. <laughs> uh... Alright, while I pour a drink, I'll tangent. I'll... I'll and genitally speak about something else. Um, I listened to that ghost album again, the new one. Songs are starting to grow on me a little bit. Um, Watcher in the Sky is really good. I like that a lot. <laughs> but I also really like Kaysarian because they pretty much open it up with a reference to Douglas Adams and that makes me happy. Right, Sippy has been poured. Yeah, sir. Wasn't he from Gal Galbadia? Sure, he's a soldier from there. I feel like I want to wreck. I, I want to get like. Okay, so I don't know if anyone else watches Bob's Burgers. I'm a big fan, but there's a character in it that cracks me up. Ah, what's her fucking name? Jocelyn. 
<laughs> I have to do that voice. If I find an opportunity to do a Jocelyn, I'll do a Jocelyn. Oh god, the face of god! Ah, oh, the face of god! Ah! Respite on the spatial fields, um... Oh my god, every texture in the game. There we go. Um, just started up as I got home, so I wasn't able to listen to it again, but the, the start of it, the intro, was really good. Well, since we're prisoners, shouldn't we be trying to break out of here? I wonder what's happened to Squall. Did they bring him here too? You haven't watched much, but you did see this on Reddit today. Let me guess. Bob Burguer. <laughs> what the fuck? That's cursed. I love it. Why is it Kirby? Burgi. I'm keeping that. Okay, thanks. Anyway, uh, face of God, face of God, face of God, face of God, face of God. That's curious. Face of God. There we go. Back in game. Do not be afraid of the face of God. Oh, nice. Payday. Uh, we gotta go. Now, Bob's Burgers movie is coming out, and uh, it's such a fun show. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. And I only started watching this. It's like the weirdest thing. <laughs> well, since we're prisoners, yeah, yeah, we should be breaking out of here. The camera. <laughs> remember, remember, uh, disaster report. <laughs> It's just like this. But yeah, so we had a we had basically a, a we had like a team call like with the director of Bob's Burgers a while back, and um, he just told us his story and it was really cool. And I was like, you know, I've always meant to watch this show. Maybe now I'll actually watch it, and I did, and it's really good. I'm on like season eleven now. Ah. <sighs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't you supposed to be ward in that dream world? Just now I was. Does this room look familiar? Of all the stupid questions- Huh? Oh, wait a sec. I know this place. Everyone listen up. This is the prison that Ward works at. He's a janitor here. There's so many rooms just like this. It's gotta be here. There's a prison for political activists in Galbadia. This must be the place where Ward works. Right here, where we are. I'm sure of it. You know what? Ultimisia can be Jocelyn. <laughs> I'll try and remember that. Spoilers. <coughs> it's no surprise we're in jail. We did attack the sorceress. We went up against the president. We'll all be sentenced to death. That president is no longer in charge. I remember he steam came out of him. Now that Gabadee is in the hands of the sorceress, what's going to happen to us? Things don't look so good. What's gonna happen to us? Yeah, he got floppy like a balloon. She threw him in and he went... <laughs> <laughs> and where the hell is that guy, Arvin? And where's Squall? Did the sorceress gulp? Oh yeah, Squall got hit by an icicle, remember? She put Squall on ice! Oh no, he's fine. But there's a big fan theory that Squall is dead now, and the rest of the game all takes place in his head, which, you know, a lot of weird shit is gonna happen, so it does sort of make sense. It, 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 it's a really good fan theory, right? I think it's overanalyzing, and I don't think it's true, but it's a very good, uh, like, it's a very convincing argument, right? <clears throat> but it does get pretty fucking weird from here, it does. Where am I? Yeah, I challenged Adea. My wound. No wound? How? The Galbadian soldiers. We were surrounded. What? <laughs> he was there, Cypher, leering down at me. Damn you, Cypher! Cypher! 
CD. Wow. <laughs> to the right of the Kirby image, it says Baby Das, which is a Bub Tab D spelling of Adidas. Wonderful. In the, in the Bub Tab D universe, Baby Das is the the gear of choice for all. Um, let's say electronic musicians in Japan, or Gopniks. <laughs> Gopniks in in Slovenia. Kiksubish, where's your baby dash? Baby dash on my feet, but they do on my screens. Squatting around my baby dash tracksuit. And every time I think about Gopnik, I think about that one gif of the guy with the vodka doing that dance with the weird shoe. And like he does a move that none of us can interpret because none of us have a degree in astrophysics enough to calculate the lines in space that this man is like procuring with his body. It's so weird. Anyway. That and and the the song video for Scooby <laughs> What what? What was that loud noise? I don't like him at all. Mean guy. It's the sound of your friend being tortured. Hot what are you wearing? Shut up! Don't screw around with me. You understand who's in charge here? I'm asking you a question. Bonk. Ow! 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 Stab! Oh, I almost forgot. Hey man, is there a Renoa with you? I'm Renoa. Oh, all right, then come over here. What are you doing or now, you bastard? Ow. Stop it already. Stop, I'll go. Renoa. I'll be fine. Let's go. I want Irvin back. He's fun. He's fun to, fun to talk about. Wait, I just got me gun? Oh. Squall, you're pitiful. <laughs> I like that they highlighted that guy is mean. We would have missed it. Mm -hmm. Just threw him by his hair. Amazing. Take him away. Moo. We're Jesus now. I'm sure you can imagine what happens now. What do you want? But this is just like the scene in Metal Gear where Revolver Oshawa like tortures us. And to this point, the squall is dead theory really holds up. <laughs> that, that's it, it's over. Tell me what seed is. Dare demands to know. Seed. A code name for Balan Gardens Elite Mercenary Force. Seed. Combat Specialists. Don't you already know? I'm not a seed. There must be some kind. Wait. Wait a minute. If I accidentally turn Cypher into Liquid Snake, is that what we're doing? Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay, fair enough. There must be some I kind of secret. You're given when you become a seed. A dead! Then there's nothing, even if there were. You think I'd tell you? You're on my tough nut to crack list, brother. Don't think you'd talk that easily. <laughs> Arikami Phoenix just, just summed up Solid Snake's entire voice in one <laughs> phrase. <laughs> yes. He was to see the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief? Another heart attack. Didn't think you'd talk that easily. Jeez, I'm honored. 
So here's a little something for you. There's no lever there. But what is the sound effect of Metal Gear? He goes like... And then it like repeats. Even if you don't talk, others will. The instructor, the little messenger girl, or that chicken wuss. He wouldn't last three seconds. They're... They're all here. Oh, you bet. But since I like you so much, I thought you should go first. I was hoping you'd be there, Squall. So, how'd I look in my moment of triumph? Have you heard of Big Chungus? If you torture selfie, your ass gonna get cancelled on Ball on Twitter. That's true. My childhood dream fulfilled. I've become the Sorceress's Knight. Sorceress's Knight? He's even doing snake things, like just repeating everything he says in his head. His romantic dream. Oh yeah, he said my romantic dream. That's pretty weird. Remember that? But Cypher, now you're just... a torturer. What did you say? Passed out cold, eh? This is the scene where you swear your undying hatred for me. The tale of the evil mercenary versus the sorceress's knight. The fun's just started, Squall. Don't disappoint me now. I need the sound bite. <laughs> Ciao, cure! Wait, you drew Zell's cure magic to cast it? Use your own. You selfish... girl. <laughs> that's right, that's another zinger. There you go. Where is it? Ow, ow, ow. He's the theater kid that got bullied and this is how he turned out. Oh. <laughs> it's no use. There seems to be an anti-magic field here. Hey, Moo, what's up? Ah, oh, what a fucking moron. What was that noise? I swear this is the Metal Gear section. This is the Metal Gear section. Up to this point, Cypher's motivations were a bit vague and he seemed bad, but it wasn't really cut and dry, but now he's suddenly comically bad, which would be very convenient for Squall. This is why the theory holds water. Yeah, 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 okay. But remember when we played Final Fantasy IX and, and Kuja used to seem like such a, like an evil badass, like visual K villain, like flamboy and whatever. But then, like, when you play it now, you realize he's just a fucking Bond villain. I'm going to put you all in a cage over lava. <laughs> it's going to be great. Why? Oh, for funsies. You again. Slap. God, this dude with a boot. Stuff like Renoa being all sentimental about Cypher like two scenes ago, then suddenly she's like, Squirrel, I love you. Yeah, so it's like a power fantasy in Squall's head kind of thing. And it's all about his perceptions of people and how he wants people to think. It, it all holds water, it does. It's very good. As a theory. No wound from the icicle. That dub skull. I'll stop him. Yo, who do you think you are? Yeah, you big, yeah, you big manie. Stop that. Hold on. <laughs> this this could be an emote. Sorry, I had to take a screenshot of selfie there. You'll regret those words. Hey, so mean.
You okay? Doesn't work so well, but... But yeah, the, the, the Squall is Dead theory, while it does hold water, it's also extremely lazy writing <laughs> in, in, in another way. It's kind of like saying, but it was all a dream, so now we can do whatever we want. So I don't like it. For that reason, I don't like it. Well, now, Squall, I'll ask again. What is Seed, and why do they oppose the Sorceress? Seed oppose the sorcerers. Sir Cypher, the missiles targeted the garden are ready for launch. It shows how the lazy the writing is in general when it got debunked by Kitase. <laughs> But yeah, I saw, let's just say I don't believe it for I don't buy it for a minute. But um, and it is a lazy kind of lazy writing if they had done that in this game. However, as an interpretation, as a fan theory, it is remarkably well thought out, and I like that a lot. So yeah, well done, you guys. Good food for thought. Nice thought experiment. But that's not the story I choose to believe. Excellent, but the f the fan theory that that I haven't seen written is that this is just Metal Gear Solid retold in fantasy. Now that's what I want to know about, <laughs> because we literally have the torture sequence. We have the guy that says, "What was that noise?" This is canon now. Balam Garden is to be destroyed, aren't you? and they're going to launch a new Balam Garden. Come on, this is Mo. This is Shadow Moses all over again. This gunblade is the best gunblade ever. I comes raising the shit out of this. <laughs> it's not the kind of story they're in the business of doing. To so comes raising the shit out of this. The story's just not very cleverly written. <laughs> That's right. The path of least resistance. Uh, Palom Garden is to be destroyed on charges of training seeds to oppose the sorceress with a nuclear weapon. A mobile nuclear weapon. What? And, and Squall fucking repeating everything Cypher says? That's a straight up snake move. It's a pity, really. I grew up there, too. But orders are orders, and a day I want it destroyed. N no. Squall is dead theory in the FF8 remake. Oh, no. I'd just be happy for an FF8 remake. After the garden's gone, the seed hunt will begin. It'll be a day as bl I'll be a day as bloodhound and hunt down every one of your kind. Maybe you can afford like a, a waistcoat that covers your belly button while you're at it. <laughs> Sick burn. It'll be fun, Squall. Don't die on me yet. Continue with the interrogation. Okay, that guy's revolver. I saw it. Ready to talk? I don't understand the question. Don't mess with me. Medea says you know something. Now spit it out. Talk, what is a seed all about? Seed, aren't we mercenaries from Balan Garden? Special forces? Hmm, yes, so? I don't know anything. Why do you keep asking me? Just... I'll lie, I'm a slave. Right, are we gonna save Meryl or, uh, Osl or, uh, Anakon? Foxhound, Fox die. Who's the cyborg ninja in this scenario? What's that? Flower. 
What did you say? The true goal of seed spread seeds all over the world. Fill the world with flowers. Yeah, right. It's the truth. Seeing flowers takes away people's will to fight. What then, Seed wants to bring love and peace to the world? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You can't fool me. Which saves who? I think in Metal Gear, uh, failing saves Otacon? I want to say. I don't actually remember. Yeah. Okay, cool. We steal the will to fight, then we invade. Failing kills Meryl. What? Hey! Watch him! No, uh, so if you're wondering, if, by the way, where we've been talking about fan theory, Squall is dead. Squall is not dead, but there is the question of why doesn't he have a wound? Well, there is there is an answer to that question, and you'll kind of understand it much later in the game. It's not really explicitly said, but there's kind of an answer to that question. <laughs> I can get inside this moon. <laughs> so please, what do we do? Just stay here? We'll get tortured for sure. Good. We can't just sit here. We have to think of a way to escape. Anyone got a plan? Well, we could skin this little guy and wear him as a disguise. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Selfie, damn it. Doesn't sound like you are. Well, we can't rely on magic here, so we have to go with weapons. We have to somehow get them back. Weapons? My weapons are these fish, man. I could do some serious damage without weapons. That's right, Zell. You kid. It's up to me, baby! Let me go. I'll go get the weapons back. Oh, yeah! You worked here as a ward, so you know the place. Not really. All ward did was mop the floors. Just leave it to me! <laughs> you two lie down there. Wait, he's trying to get a selfie, too. Zell! I hope this works. Guard, guard, we need some help. Open the door. What's the problem? Oh, women are unconscious. I think a snake bit them. What? <laughs> That's right, get fucked. Well, I'm off. <laughs> Mickey. Huh? You wanna go too? The guy on the floor is in the same pose as the guard in Metal Gear Solid who gets knocked out and you steal his clothes. This is the Metal Gear section. Oh, I guess I just don't get in the way. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Look, some kind of actual super serious theory about this and put it on Reddit or some shit. If <laughs> is Metal Gear a thread. It's clear to see the inspiration from Metal Gear in this section of the game. Someone's probably done a YouTube video on this. And if they haven't, maybe that can be the next thing that I do. Oh, 
We're going downstairs, are we now? Okay. We've got a new lion boy friend. <sighs> like Altamitia type compression. I'm practicing earlier. <laughs> compression. I think Ultimetia secretly founded Native Instruments, and that's a joke only I get. <laughs> and possibly all for me. And also... Oh my god! Oh god! That's what happened to Sai in that one episode of Peach Girl when Toji turned her into a little football. Also, can we just appreciate Zell, A, having a massive amount of stuff, like, injections <laughs> to its damage, but B, also having, like, bio on his attack. No fucking way. Oh yeah, you did the gif. That's amazing. Thank you, pastry. Punk. I miss Paper Sai. Isn't it great that Peach Girl turned out to be, like, one of the best shows ever? Wait. <laughs> Super popular Hurricane. Genuinely watched the film, like, three or four times in the course of doing the review, and it's still good. Watch Peach Girl, it's great. How a dumb offhand comment in a wiki how became at least 80 hours of my life in production time. <laughs> okay, so. I'll Oh, I think there's a mod to s uh, for controllers to swap. Ah, stop it! It won't let me do it. There's a way to swap analog and D-pad in the 8 bit no settings, and I need to do that next time. Is this Metal Gear? Probably. It could be the Cyborg Ninja. Deep Throat. Gross. Ow, oh, Jesus, my ear. Sorry, bro. Thanks, Jesus. I think he's dead. Let's go, Enzo. Funky Bartlett just learned HP Junction. Should we be going down? I think there's extra stuff if you go down. It's gonna junction some hot dog. 
hot dog. Yeah, you can go all the way down, and I think you can get... Oh, I have to go all the way around, God damn it! I think there's a red dragon that gives you meltdown, but I can't remember. Or is it triple? Maybe it's triple. I'm gonna keep going, because... I mean... Nothing bothers us, we're Zell. And we have Encounter Half. We could put Encounter None on, but where's the fun in that? Floor 3! So, when Maelstrom mentioned it the other day, uh, I ended up watching a couple episodes of Fat Dog Mendoza. Which is also a great show, although... There's a weird thing about Fat Dog Mendoza that I was never able to place why it bothered me so much. But, um, I realize what it is now. It's really drawn out and slow. Which makes absolute sense, because animation is expensive and time-consuming, especially back then. So, what the fuck am I fighting? So... Yeah, th th that kind of slow quality to it is really odd, but... I like the show. It's good. It was really weird, and they used to show it at, like, stupid o'clock in the morning. At 1 a.m. <laughs> and the funny right, okay, so here's the funny thing. Um, I always liked the character Piranime. I mean, it's just the fact that she's 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 a duality character, right? So they have this character called Piranime with these long ass pigtails. She has glasses that are half oval, half square. And um the fact that she's called Piranha and May, which is like a, a weirdly nasty name and a nice name, and she has this kind of dual personality where sometimes she's really nice, and other times she's just yelling at stuff. It's really great. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I enjoy that. And I went, I wonder if anyone like, knows who Piranha May is these days. So I, I put it into Google, and uh, wait, can I not go any lower than this? Oh, man. The, the only stuff I could find on Google was... Um, there was a wiki, like a fan gamer wiki page for a theoretical Happy Tree Friends movie spoof YouTube channel that just had a list of episodes they might do if they ever made it. And one of them was Fat Dog Mendoza. <laughs> And and then the other image that I could find oh, on the image search, the other image I could find was just this this fucking image that said, um, well, it was like, oh god, wait, <laughs> I gotta Google this. It was so funny. Um, Chronome, go to images. Da, 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 da. There was like a, a a meme somebody made. I can't find it now. It's gone. Oh, there it is. I fucking hate you, Piranha May. You horror like it like if you like Daft Punk and hate Piranha May. This <laughs> uh, <laughs> is like the only image. Face of God, that's right. Like, someone made this. Anyway. Fat Dog Mendoza, great show. Really weird. Uh, the episode I watched is the one that I usually end up watching, uh, which is... There's one where they... So, Fat Dog, Little Costume Buddy, Prada Mayor, sat on a volcano rim, and they're playing with like action figures or whatever. And little costume buddy drops his action figure of, what's he called, the swoosh, into the volcano. And they have to go to the center of the earth to get it back. And there's a guy there called the quadruped who's like evil. And he's just a guy that wears boots on his hands. And it's just odd. That's the show. That's what the show is about. And, and the show is them going to the center of the earth to try and defeat the quadruped and get his action figure back. And... Piranime has to save them by stealing a guy's drilling machine 
but there's like some other kid with pigtails and they have like a beef. Uh, it's just weird. What an interesting show that is. I stole two windmills off this thing. What are you doing with windmills? I'm gonna press some other buttons this time. It's actually easier to do that because I don't have to press left then right. Oh, I wanna I wanna do that last move. It feels like a cartoon that was, like, in the Mike Judge era of, of doing, like, crazy good shit. I wonder if they ever did anything with it, or if it's just, like, abandoned. Because, I mean, it's on YouTube. You can watch Fat Dog Windows on YouTube. Oh, it's Christus's whip! They're just playing with the weapons. Look at this, seed weapons! This is stupid! Someone put a gun on a sword? Is this what they call a gun blade? Check these out, a whip, nunchaku. Excuse me, sirs. Y you, an escapee? Yeah, I'm here to reclaim these. I lost my weapons? Wait, they have gun blades. Simon. A silent voice. Go to sleep. They fell victim to sleepy time with Bachi, that was it. Piece of cake, baby. Yeah, if you just go up two flights and do that, you're, you're good. You're not supposed to go down and get into very difficult fights, but because Zell is a hoss, uh, he kind of easily defeated it. Oh, the mood does the same laugh as Zell. That's cute. Yeah, sorry to keep you waiting. Zell, the weapons. Voila. Woohoo! All right. Time to go kick some ass. Why is he so big? What the fuck? Yes. This is like the dream thing again, isn't it? This is the dream theory. They keep zooming into us in a weird way. Is Keistis wearing a bub bag or as you might call it, a fanny pack in America? Or is it some kind of jewelry? Or is her dress really low cut? These are my questions, in that order. <laughs> right on! <laughs> right. <laughs> we have to switch junctions. <laughs> people to people! Uh, Irvine, you can go there. Uh, you fuck, I need to... I need to sort this out again. I'm sorry, everyone. We're gonna have the junction again. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these guys. Um.
I want as many status junctions as I can get. Selfie is going to be the magic one. So she wants magic HP vitality, so... Right. <laughs> Well, let's work this out. HP vet magic. HP vet magic. Uh, HP strength. HP strength. Okay, wonderful. Good start. Fit spirit, magic, fit spirit. Well, we should definitely give Kisi some magic because she has blue magic. Let's give her Simon. Vitality for Zell. And then we have Chekup Chebukaman and Chablu. So another way we can look at this is the least useful summons. <sighs> because we could give somebody these for the uh, the sake of junctioning and not bother giving them uh, what do you call it? any mm, like like not giving them the GF command oh we have Chepa command as well okay spirit uh, you can have magic there that seems good so basically our party's going forward we just have oh shit she's got all the status attack and elemental attack um, that's interesting. I would kind of like... Yeah, you know what? This is fine. So, what are we talking here? Kiraga's best for health. Vitality is... It's not a Suna, there's a better one. Life. Let's go Kiraga Life. Okay. Break. Defenses. Poison, arrow, and a single element. Yeah, why not? Quake is great. Shepard, come on!
spend more time in the game doing this than I do anything else. Hundred percent poison attack, that's amazing. But given her a magic attack, uh, nothing really defends against error, so I guess we can use that. Uh but it depends. Didn't give her 100% break, that's fun. But I think bio is much more fun. This is magic defense. Can you, can you put drain on, you can. Interesting. Slow or berserk. Blind sleep, blind silence. See, ten percent of everything's fine, but I kind of like just eighty percent of one thing, just in case, you know. Oh, okay, I think everyone is set up, so we just need to give them abilities. So, Selfie is the magic character. Bottom is always GF. Middle can be draw or item. Well, let's lean off draw for a while. What? Hmm. Zell. Actually, you know what? As a magic character, you get draw. Zell, you're the punchy man, so bottom is GF. You get magic and item. I might. Mug is useful in literally one case where you fight Cypher and you can mug an item off of him. So maybe I won't give him that. We'll give him encounter half just because the encounters are crazy frequent in this game. She gets Doom, Mad Rush, and Treatment. Uh, treatment's pretty good, but we don't need it. Um, double draw. Strength, vitality, or oh, move find. And we're good. Okay. Perfect. This is a cell with the uncooperative prisoners. You know what? I'm going to be back in just a second because I need a bathroom break. I will be a quick moment. Enjoy this song. Crank in his neck. Hmm? 
I'm back now. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> okay. <sighs> is this a cell with the uncooperative prisoners? Yes, this is it. Please give us something to really complain about. Should we be picking on prisoners so soon after getting transferred here? Just be quiet. Let me handle this. These are the prisoners, Lieutenant Biggs, Private Wedge. Biggs, Wedge. Ah, it's these guys. Ah! Wait, do I have a button for this? Oh! Close enough. <laughs> so, so we meet again. Now we'll teach you the lesson we should have taught you earlier. I know it might seem cowardly, but to find a non prisoners. <laughs> but I hope you appreciate our position. Hey, it's doggy dog. Oh, they're fully armed, sir. Oh, what? Uh, uh, how? Ah, hell with it. Let's go, witch. Ah, don't worry, Banks. We'll, we'll kick your ass in no time. I was demoted because of you. I'm only a lieutenant now. I'll get my revenge. He said I was too. They're always trouble. Blub, blub, blub. Get poisoned. Why? How are we doing there, uh, Biggs? What's below, Lieutenant Blood? You like his Gundam arms? Me too. Isn't there a new Gundam out this season? Might be an OAV. Well, we did it. It's the big jail. Oh, I was thinking about it earlier. Don't think you could just walk out. Skull should be around here somewhere. You have any idea? I guess not. We find Squall and then we're out of here. Got it? If. What the? Warning, SKP alert. Monsters will be set loose on each floor. If SKP refuses to surrender, you have permission to kill. The anti-magic field will be lifted. The <laughs> security alarm. Wait, we were using magic. It just wasn't doing as much damage, I guess. I'm gonna keep going up, but it feels like the right way. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Perfect. I'm so glad the music's better now. It was really not good in the MIDI only version. Steel orb with gravitational power. Hmm. That's curious, isn't it? Keep that. It's Demi. Oh, we can go in these rooms. Nothing much going on here. All right, see you later then. <laughs> Maybe we have to go down here? I don't remember. I'm going up because it seems like the logical thing to do. Oh, there's a save point. Do 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 do. An avian. Smack him up. There we go. Yes, we shall yoten ourselves up the Tower of Bulbul. Bad dog. And Rosa. Oh, a draw point. Thundagar! Thundaga, get. Anyone here? I have Thundaga! Give me sight beyond sight! What was I thinking about? I think it was because of the demi-humans in Elden Ring, but I was thinking about that first episode of Thundercats, where these these two guys are like... They crack open this tomb because they're like grave robbers, but they look like little demi-humans. Like, with the rat teeth and stuff. They can unlock everything here. Bye then. Shoot, the hatch is closed. Doesn't look like there's any more cells above. This prison's really cool. You'll see more later. Wendigo! I'm Hug. Ow. I feel like Zell was a lot stronger before. 
Did they nerf him or did I nerf him by not giving him the strength up stuff? <laughs> Become football! Basketball, I guess. One does not dribble footballs. Oh wait, no, you do dribble footballs. Oh my god. You dribble it with your feet. But in basketball, you dribble it with your hands. What is this? Yeah, he was doing like 300 damage a hit. It might have been the elemental stuff he had junctioned, which has changed. Oh, Zell, you... Cad, you... Look at you. Wait. Does anyone have life who isn't Zell? Oh my god, okay, fine. I don't think Selfie could do life, let's just do full cure. Oh look, we're fine now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, why does no one have life except for, for Zell? Whoops. There. Payday! Hey! Squall! Why cat? Come on, Squall! I'm fine! You okay? I really do need to do the exams, don't I? It was hell. Let's just get the hell out of here. Catch! You throw a sword at him? Laguna, Laguna! Laguna! Thank goodness you're alright, let's go. Squall, you- are you alright? Let's just get the hell out of here. Make shortcut floor aware. Did she come here as a Laguna in the dream world? No. So Squaw doesn't know how to get out either. Well, either way, we kept going up and up. I think we better head back down. It'd be a pain to go down every floor. The alarm alerted monsters and security guards everywhere. By the way, how the hell do they carry you up here, Squall? Whoa, what's this? It's like a crane that can carry a detachable cell from downstairs. Also, this big hole goes all the way to the bottom. So if we jump all the way down, we're out of here? What, we're out of here? <laughs> what? Go ahead if you want to be squashed like a pancake. Oh yeah, I remember now. We can move this arm by using the panel above and the control room. I remember Ward doing this, but we need to operate them both at the same time. Someone needs to stay upstairs and control the panel. May? The most inspirational tutorial ever. Fine. I'll give you instructions from upstairs. Everyone get inside. So, this is the arm control room. 
Yeah, can you guys hear me? Hi, Gazelle. Loud and clear. Selfie's dress has pockets. This is a modern innovation, the likes of which <laughs> our kind has never seen. So, what do we do? Press the red button button on the main panel. <laughs> Not yet, Zell. There we go. I'll take care of the rest. There. Hey, so what are we gonna do now? Well, there's a door over there. And? Let's check it out! Sure. Test. You can raise your vitality by drenching magic. Yes. Skull's weapon is the gold mode. No. You can start drawing magic. Yes. Any action taken by poison causes damage. There is no damage if you take no action. No. Being hit by a physical attack removes confused. Yes. Balls don't break as kids are cooking. No. You should imagine you need to match your junction ability for the stat you want a junction. Yes. Signifies junction ability. Yes. The uh, air months of... I don't know. Probably. There is a limit how much magic you can draw from monsters. No. Shit. Okay. Hmm. There we go, we did it. Hey, Aldenti. Only two answers can be false. Yeah, that's it. All right, there we go. See level eight. Next one. Uh, will you take level three? Yes. Potions can restore GSHP. No. Magic can only be acquired by drawing from enemies. No. Selfie's weapon is an unchecker. Yes. You only need money to remodel your weapon. No. Whoever strikes the finishing blow of battle receives the most XP. Apparently, uh, GF also has levels. The higher their levels, the stronger their attacks. Yes? Signifies command ability. Yes. Each party member can have up to five character and party abilities. Four. Command abilities must be set to easy battle. Yes. AP means action point. Ah! Oh, ability point! There we go. Next one. We you take the level 4 test? Yes, only Squall can use a gun blade. Yes, attack magic can be used against party members. Yes, there is an ability that allows you to make magic from items. Yes, high vitality reduces physical damage. Uh, yes, blue magic is learned by being attacked by a monster. No, the magic dispel cures poison. No, if you are KO'd with status change but are revived after battle, the status change is removed. I don't think it is in this game. T-Rex wears a monster that lives in Balan Garden's training center. Yes, Squall's gun blade causes more damage by hitting... No, you can stock up to 255 of each magic. No. 80? What'd I get wrong? That might be a wrong button, by the way, <laughs> that it displayed on there. Right, so I think that's an incorrect button that it's showing me. Oh shit.
No, okay, so that was correct. Squawking is the one way that can be used against party members, so there is an ability to make magic from items. Yeah? No? No. Yes, yes, yes. No. Okay, so there's something I'm getting wrong here. Sixty. That was even worse. What the fuck? I don't know which ones are getting wrong here because I feel like these are correct. Squawking is a gun blade. Yes. Uh, attack magic can be used against party members. Pretty sure it can. There's an ability that lets you to make magic from items. Yes. Higher vitality reduced physical damage. I want to say yes, otherwise what, what does it do? Blue magic is learned by being attacked by a monster. No, you have to get an item from the monster and then use it. The magic dispel cures poison. Maybe it does? I don't know. This is a... Uh, yes, yes. I'm pretty sure that's showing me... 80? Oh, fuck it. I don't know the answers. I don't know what I'm getting wrong here. I'm no seed. Sand! Buried human were underground? In any case, we can't get out from here. What was that? Gunfire. Sounds pretty bad. Is that the first time it said all? It's cursed. It's rough. It gets in my boots. It's Cell. Let's get back quick. I hate sand. There he is, over there! Sees the escapee, dead or alive! Ch too many. I'm out of here. That's right, this is Metal Gear. It's Zell. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, Zell has nothing! Oh no! Oh god, we're fucked! He was dead, and he was revived with 1 HP, and he has nothing equipped. Giga chat for now, let's go! I'm not stopping until I've run out of time. I can't risk this. I think he's dead. <laughs> oh, 
okay. Ow! Okay. This is fine. Oh, you bastard. Die. Nice. Didn't think you'd go down that easy. Squall. Thanks, man. Uh, uh. What? Let go. I said let go. Bunk. Squall, Zell. I'm glad you're all right. Squall, why'd you go on your own? Is he all that important to you? <sighs> e. <laughs> ah. Bullet. There's no way we could get out of here. Arg, ugh. Oh. It's your boy. Come in. Stop trying to act so cool. <laughs> Holy shit, she just kicked a man down the stairs. That's not okay. Gee, if only you had agreed with me earlier, we wouldn't be in this mess. Squirrel. Squirrel's alive. I knew it would be. Squirrel's okay. Yeah. No, you're all right. Uh-huh. Of course. Gotta save my escort. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, my father put some strings in the military. He told me them to get me, and only me, out. Then, so this guy here, he came and got me, just me, knowing you were all captured. Ah, oh, that's... Isn't it horrible? All right, all right. I said I was sorry. That's why I'm here to help. After I scratched you to death. Ah. Well, anyhow, now's our chance. The basement door is buried in sand. Of course it is. This place is buried underground. Buried? That's right. This prison is... There they are! It's the escapees! Squall! We choose two more party members and head on up. I'll hold them here. Up! Don't have time to explain now. The exit's up there, trust me. Okay. I think I knew the way. Please don't let me... Oh, I can't move for Noah. Okay, Junction Exchange. My turn to boogie now. You call that a gun? This is a gun. Okay, follow me, ladies. I think you found where you going to leave the prison. That's what Ervin's like, actually. When you first get me your party, he's like, Hello, ladies. You really do be. I think you'll find the laugh of a sniper is a bit lonely. So, you know. Yeah, it's about this for a body. Just me and the Sheilas. If you let him have Kistis, he gets all pissed off like yuck. What? He just wants the, the young ones. 
I mean, Kiss this isn't old, but she's the oldest, I guess. Yeah, because she's quote unquote old. What, she's like 21? Yeah, it's all like that. Oh, what's our next move? Hmm. Hey! Can't we go up using the arm? I think Squall and the others are already up there. Like, good idea. What's with tiny waistcoats in this world? But they gotta operate it from that room upstairs. She's 18. What the fuck, Irvin, right? Ew, too old. Irvin, you creep. Leave that to me. Alright, let's head to the floor where the arm stopped. Is that up or down? I forgot. Oh my god, no one has fucking stuff! Uh. I'm gonna have to make six junctions, aren't I? Evan 17, that doesn't make any sense. Oh my god. They had to mature really fast, to be honest. I mean, that's true, but also, come on. Come on, Evan. It's Keystus. Ew. Disgusted. What, I want no grandmas in me party. <sighs> what is this? <laughs> no health for you, mate. Just run down some stairs. Nice. <laughs> Way to go, Irvin. Child soldiers indeed. And they're still school children. They're very tall school children, but they're school children nonetheless. Hey, hop on. Meanwhile. Yee, <laughs> yee, yee, ta ta. Received a car. You just gave me a fucking house. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Why does it give you that? In case you need it.
Same effect as 10 plus restores or GF. Let's use a 10. And then see how much life magic we get from a cottage. 20 Kiragas. We don't need 20 Kiragas. Okay, let's do whatever this next battle's going to be, inevitably. How can it be a boss? This time we're really out. Prisoners may not go beyond this point, you will be terminated. They're coming! Here we go. Oh, it's just a couple of jabronis. Let's get the old GF treatment, shall we? Basic miss. Oh, that did a lot of damage. It's been given aura. Yeah, this all sounds everything sounds so much better. Oh, meltdown! It's my favorite. I should draw that. Might be a bit late. <laughs> I get meltdown at this point though. Kinda want that. Yeet! I don't think we can get mount down, guys. <laughs> Never mind, we'll get it later. Make it. Now well, that was easy. Hey, score, can you hear me? Hey, hey, you guys. Man, so this is what you were talking about? What a score on the others already went I had. I can hear you. See? Told you we'd be alright. Squall, go ahead and operate the arm. How? Oh. Squall, push down the yellow button on your upper right hand side. Is this it? Alrighty. We'll be there in like a second. Wait right there. Uh, it's is that supposed to move this slow? So what? What's the rush? Looks like they'll be just fine. And it looks like I'm going to go down and save. Because I think it's time. We uh, put a little pause on this one and we finish this off to tomorrow. What? No, next time. Finish off? No, not even that. Just continue it. <gasps> There's plenty more game to go. That's right. It's been a couple hours and I'm tired, so... I swear I looked up my clock like half an hour ago and it said 2 hours 20 minutes and now it still says 2 hours 20 minutes. 
<laughs> you know, fucking stream, mate. Yeah, I could speed run it. Yeah, like a whole day. But <laughs> sure, why not? No, I'm not doing that. Um, but yeah, uh, that's me for today. I think I'm done. I'm going to go eat some peanuts or whatever. I ate a burrito earlier, but I'm still hungry. What's wrong with me? Anyway, thanks for coming along. I hope you've had a good time. And I think Rob's probably streaming, so we'll uh, check on that and then probably do a raid out. But uh, till then, I'll be back on Saturday with some uh, Bocce's Big Day Out, Elden Ring. Where we'll become, hopefully, Sailor Moon. So, I look forward to that. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Bye!